This is a test of my Bedini Simplified Schoolgirl motor. I will connect the uh, drive battery here. Give the wheel just a little turn. It picks up speed on its own. Being driven by pulses, electromagnetic pulses from that coil of wire you see between the wheel stands at the bottom. So here's the coil, which is a bifiler wound coil with 20 gauge and 24 gauge wire, magnet wire. The core is made up of um, snipped off stands of uh, survey flags, small steel flags you see when men go out surveying. Control is by this small cir circuit board. The transistor here. 2N3055 transistor and a 1 to 5K potentiometer. There are a couple of diodes there, a 1N4001 and a 1N4007, a small resistor. The output of the coil is being fed into these two 6 volt batteries which are in series. And the purpose the idea behind the Bedini motor is that it will recharge even unrechargeable batteries. I have my little multimeter here. I'm going to check the output. Excuse me, 11.84. That's the charge in the battery currently. Let's see what the uh, value is for the two batteries being charged. machine run for a while, the output numbers will exceed that of the uh, input voltage, often by as much as a volt and a half. So the power battery here may go down to you know, 11 volts, whereas the input will be reading 12.3, you 12.4, know, something like that. Some people believe this represents overunity. Uh, I'm not convinced of that myself, but it is interesting. We've got a 360 view of the wheel going here. The 16-inch bicycle wheel with 12 permanent C8 ceramic magnets around the rim. The frame is simply uh, laminated wood and poplar. It's considerable torque because of the wheel and the weights on the edges of the wheel. Spinning uh, takes considerable uh, force to stop the wheel from turning. I have seen uh, videos of Bedini machines being used to turn fan blades and small pulleys and that sort of thing. 
I certainly think this one is capable of that. Let's see what the voltage output is again here. Oh, 11.43. It goes up about a hundredth of a volt every few seconds. It's starting to go up to 11.44. Flicker a bit. It's kind of dull watching numbers change, so I won't make you do that. The power battery is a UB1250 universal battery, acid gel battery. The charge batteries, charging batteries are, as you can see, a, an Energizer and a Rayovac, simple six volt lantern batteries, which are not supposed to be rechargeable. And whatever else you say about the Bedini machine, it will does recharge old batteries. At any rate, this is my first effort at a uh, Bedini SSG. I'll show you the circuit diagram, sort of crudely drawn by me. Here you see the coil. This is the transistor. These are the two batteries. Diode, diode, resistor, potentiometer. You can find plans for these all over the internet, all over YouTube. Just look around, type in how to build a Medini machine, and you'll find lots of videos, lots of plans, lots of claims made for it. But that's mine. It does run.